sorry, sir. Sir, are you all right? Okay. Are you okay? Are you what okay? What is wrong with people on the internet? Yo? Are you oh okay, my God. bro? I'm just saying, like, bro. Jesus. These people, I mean, bro. They Jesus. just want. <laughs> Just let everybody know, think sometime, who are you? Be in touch with who you are, because trust me, if you don't at this stage get in touch, touch with who you are and get to know this person, who this is, I think it's a wasted life. Where have you come from? Why are you here? What is your purpose? No hesitation. You're the best in the world when you're there. Say, so, yeah, we here, man, we here. Uh -huh. Short notice fight week, man, but this is, what, this is what makes my brother special. This is what makes him special. Things like this is what, what only somebody like him can do. He blasts. I guess, I guess we, we, are, we are back where we started, you know? Guys that we've been together forever, Cosmo, or Harry. It's kind of nice just to, to feel the vibe like this. He's in a good mood. I think the fight happened the right time, you know? So let's take the chance, you know. I mean, if he would have told me right away, it would have been no, but the, he had this look on his face. Uh, I've never seen that look on his face. It was, it was kind of like a psychotic look. He was in Target, he had his hat on, and he had this crazy ass smile on his face saying, come on, don't smile a lot, you know? Uh, you, you get a laugh here and there, but he had just this weird, weird smile to him. And I told him security's probably watching you in Target right now. I said, man, you might. My whole watch out security probably follow you around with that look. And uh, he's like, I got something to tell you. What do you think? And I was like, I kind of thought you were going to say something like that because what was going on? I said, what do you think? And he just, he bit his mouth a certain way, smiled. And I said, I can see you want it. I said, how's your shape? And he says, I've been training coach. So I said, all right, let's go shock the world. What the only reaction you can have is fucking right. There was no doubt in his. If there was any doubt in his voice, we'd have a conversation. But there was zero, so you say let's fucking right. A lot of people asked Kamara during the media day about, the, like, they, get, they asked him this question. And um, a lot of people are curious to see this dynamic, how uh, these two legendary coaches are going to uh, come together and um, pick their brain, what they're going to say. Uh, one lady from uh, the UFC PR today said, I'm very, very curious to see what they're going to say, to, to hear uh, the corner uh, advice during the round. So, and it made me think, uh, made me kind of curious too, to, 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 to hear what they're going to say. How cool is this environment? It's insane, actually. I'm like, I don't even want to show the footage to nobody. I want to save it, capture it. It's so cool. Yeah. Like, look at it. Best of the best. Feeling bliss right now. I, I like. I feel like our bond has been that strong for so long. Like, like he's always been a guy I looked up to. So it's like when you when you study a guy, you know, coach. You know, it's a you know, athletes look up to different athletes. Like, oh, I like the way he throws a kick, or like, you know, I like the way he grapples, or you know. It's the same thing for a coach. You gotta, you know, find people that you aspire to be like, you know. And it's not like you're trying to be like them, but you like what they do, and you're like, oh, I like that. Like that's nice. And it's very, it's very hard uh, to find that a lot, especially in MMA. I mean, the MMA has come a long way, so there's so many great coaches now. But like you think 20 years ago, there's a lot of you know your team goes out, you guys, you, your fight, your fight friend, your partner's coming out to work the corner, which you're not a coach. So he was a true coach. I was a fighter before. I fought many fights and I know that it's very important to have people behind you that you trust even more than somebody with knowledge because I just think if you train somebody long enough and good enough, you give him the skills and you just need to let them do their thing, you know. It's all about the coach and the trainer and the student more than anything because they start, you start with nothing, you start from scratch, you build each other up, both, both, both of each other's lives getting better. 
if you do it the right way. Uh, so why would that go away when somebody wants to uh, see some other things outside of your gym? I don't think that's a bad thing, you know? Well, you know, when Kamaro, uh, I was coming out there, I made sure Kamaro, I was like, did you talk to Henry about it? He's like, absolutely. And I was like, all right, cool. I want you to reach out to him, have him call me or tell him I'm going to call him just so we can conversate, you know, make sure our friendship stays because, you know, it's a... Uh, 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 Last thing I want to ever do is feel like you're taking someone from someone. And man, he was the best. He's like, man, he, I want him to go out there to you. You know, so having that, 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 that camaraderie and trust in each other and belief in each other uh, is, is, is cool. That's really what our relationship has always been. It's just back to normal, back to what it was before and still training also with Trevor. And we train together here. Uh, he's at the gym. Everybody's happy. Uh, he's happy. Now we have a big adventure uh, on this uh, this fight that's coming up. But uh, but like I said, Kamaru was never really gone. Not for me inside, and not from the guys in the gym, you know. So uh, I'm just happy that he's back. And now uh, we're gonna ride it out. Whatever happens, happens. But uh, like I always say, once a champ is always a champ. You know? That will never change. If there's any fighters listening, this is why you never burn a bridge with someone who's helped you out along your career because there's going to be a time and place where, where, where you bring them back into your life. And like this, this is so unique. Like I could not imagine being his opponent right now. I'm like, oh shit, like this, that, that, that's, a, that's a step up and shit, you know? I mean, you get two different perspectives. And uh, I definitely know neither of us was over speak each other. We're going to listen to what both of each other have to say and we're going to get different reads. So I definitely feel like we, we have an up on what we're bringing into the corner from our performance standpoint, not from the fighter's performance standpoint, from what coaches are, 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 are brought along to do. I think we, we level, we'll level that up and it's just, it's just an honor to be a part of you know, it. Now, now I can say I was a part of Henry's. You know, career. It's crazy because I think about like, man, I ain't never seen him at this weight. Seen him at 185, 190, ch chiseled, con diesel. He usually loses it all before the weight cut, you know? So we really, we're really blessed right now and I'm really just, just excited. And I mean, I love my brother to death and I'm just so excited because I, I know what he's going to come in here to do because the, only, the, the, the first time he was like this is when we fought Tyron Woodley. That was the first time he's, he had this chip on his shoulder, that everybody counted him out. But listen, count us out all y'all want to. Come Saturday, y'all gonna count us in.